Hi, this is Tracy Lahr from Snazzy Moon Designs. Today I am going to make a video to show you how to sublimate a license plate. Here are some uh, examples of uh, the license plates that have been sublimated. And in this video, I will show you how to make one. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a sublimation license plate blank. And uh, most of them measure 6 inches by 12 inches. So when you print your design, you want to make it just a little bit wider a little bit longer so I print 6.1 by 12.1 you want the design just to be a little bit larger than the license plate and you will need to use um, eight and a half by 14 printer paper because the eight and a half by 11 is not going to be long enough okay today I'm using the Epson uh, 15,000 because when I print my license plate designs, I like to print three at a time, and I can fit three license plate designs on uh, one sheet of 13 by 19 paper. If you can see over here on my uh, desktop that I have three designs selected, I like to use Affinity Designer, but you, obviously you can use any um, design software that you want as long as you um, can get them to print out on 13 by 19 paper or 8.5 by 14. Okay, so our uh, license plates have finished printing. I like to print three at a time on a 13 by 19 sheet of paper. If you don't have a printer that prints that large, then you can always print one at a time on a sheet of 8.5 by 14 paper. So I am going to trim these. I don't have to worry about the edges, just I'm going to trim in between them. Okay, I think today we'll make this one right here for this video. So this is the design I'm going to use. I'll take this license plate and I'm going to wipe it off with a lint free cloth or you can use a lint roller. Just want to make sure there's nothing. No dog hair. No dog fur on there or anything else. Then you take your license plate and just set it on top of your design. Like I said, I like to make mine a little bit bigger. That way I don't have any. That way it covers the license plate properly kind of center it on there get you some heat tape and tape it and then take the other side you don't have to tape it too much it's just mainly so your paper doesn't get away from you the one right here at the top one at the bottom that's why you want it to overlap just a little bit so you have something to tape to also okay so now we are ready to put it on the heat press I'll go ahead and warm that up we're gonna do 385 degrees for 60 seconds when this is warmed up I'll start the video back Okay, so this is a 15 by 15 heat press. We're at temperature uh, 385 for 60 seconds. And make sure you got your parchment paper on the bottom. Take your license plate. Now when you put your license plate, the license plate goes on top and your design goes on the bottom. We'll just center that, put another sheet of paper over the top. And we'll press this. 60 seconds okay we're approaching our 60 seconds don't worry about your temperature dropping a little bit it's going to do that 
60 seconds. We're going to turn it off. Make sure you wear your gloves because it's going to be hot. Bring it over here. And you can turn it over like this. Peel off the top. And we'll peel that heat tape off later. But here's our license plate. Comes out pretty nice, smooth, lots of color. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully this video has helped you and uh, you'll be ready to make some license plates. Thanks for watching.